Thank you for joining us. I'm Aaron Taligia, joined by Fred J. Robledo, behind the camera, James S. Garcega. And guys, for as much as things change, they sure stay the same in the Almont League. <laughs> That's what it seems like so far, right? Um, Alhambra stole all the non-league headlines, starting yes. off 5-0, and but they opened league play last week with a loss to Sure, the defending league champion. This league has been all about Sure and Montebello, and now here comes Montebello to take on the Moors. Um, and Montebello started league play with a win last week. Does Alhambra have a chance to get back in this league title race, Freddie? Or, or, well, or did they just it, blow it? it and is this is an absolute must, must, must win for Alhambra, and I can't say that enough. About I think it was two years ago, maybe three, Nogala started 8-0 uh, and no, lost their last two games in Montview. Yeah. Finished third. They were a team ranked in the top four in Division 13 all year. Didn't make the playoffs because in Division 13 there's so many teams, usually just the first and second place teams in league get in. So Alhambra, a team that was number one in Division 13, undefeated, you, you said it at the top. They were the team that we were talking about. Everyone was excited. They lose that game last week to Sure. Now, they lose to Montebello. They're not going to finish any better than third era because there's no one else in that league who's going to beat Montebello and Sure. They're going to wind up playing the following week for the league title, yeah. and that's going to be that. So if you're Alhambra, back to the wall, this is it. You have to win. You can't lose back-to-back -back opening games at home and expect to make the playoffs, not in Division 13. Third place just doesn't cut it. Yeah, you'd like to think that, you know, that statement that you just made isn't true because, you know, hey, maybe Bell Gardens could beat someone, but Montebello just beat Bell Gardens. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. Um, this is a number of full sure season. And sure got their players back, which is which yeah, some of them. Them. Some, yeah, some. And, and that, yeah, I mean, sure looked, you know, uh, pretty impressive and poof, their season's right back on track. But here's the question, though. We're not talking about sure here so much as we're talking about Montebello. Yeah. Does Montebello have enough, though, to go on the road at Moorefield and beat an Alhambra team that's now desperate, um, that knows you know its whole season's on the line. Well, well, this, I this don't is, think they do. This is, but this is where I, I think that you know you have to get over that mental ownership. And, and those teams, in the last few years, that's you know Montebello and sure they, despite their records, what's Montebello have two wins two this and year? Four, and two so and four. sure, right? It's, it's just that mental ownership. Alhambra couldn't get over it last week with sure. They need to find a way to get over it this week against Montebello, which is why. I'm taking Alhambra. I think they're, they're going to get the gut check win this week. Um, this is going to be the game that gets them into the uh, Division 13 playoffs. Yeah, I don't think Montebello is sure, so I have Alhambra too. Um, trouble is, you know, with Alhambra, they're, they're, they're pretty good defensively, struggle at times um, in games for yeah. offense. That's the problem. They, Not the whole game. But they have these gaps in games, yeah. you know, for a quarter and a half where they don't do anything with the and, ball, and you leave teams in a game. And to their credit, they got off to a bad start last week in that yeah. game, and they came back and late, in the super game, late. Like, they, they showed some fight, yeah. and I think that fight is going to carry over. I think Friday. they took a late yeah. lead, and then sure yeah. took the lead so back. That's why I think that fight, that it, it's going to carry over. They're going to get this win. For Boy, them. they better get it done. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm guaranteeing they're going to get this. Whoa, win. whoa, whoa! They are right. apples. Whoa! So, I got Alhambra, Freddie. You like apples, Alhambra? I like him too. Freddie guarantees Alhambra. James, who you I'm got? I'm thinking Montebello. James yeah, has got the Oilers. I'm thinking the Oilers here. This is Moore Field. Uh, uh, been the site of a lot of good games so far this year. Moore Field, Friday night, yeah. 7 o'clock. Say hi to our man, Will Hernandez.